I was probably eight or nine, and my parents each ordered an iPhone. And by accidentally, they sent three. So my parents offered me it, and they said, oh, do you want to have the extra one? And that's how my interest in Apple and technology started. When the iPhone I got given uh, came out, it didn't even have the App Store. So since then, they've opened up the App Store to developers. So at the time when I first got my phone, it was kind of just getting games and apps and useful things like that. I was actually in my science class and I was a little bored. So I just opened my laptop and I messaged my friends in America. I'm like, oh, I'm really bored. Do you want to just quickly make a little game or something? And he was like, yeah, of course. And it kind of just came out of nowhere, the game. I just designed it in Photoshop. And then I sent him over the designs and he's like, oh, this is really fun. So he put it together in Xcode, which is the program you use to code iPhone applications. And within about an hour, he sent me back this little trial version and it was really fun, so we decided to launch it. To make a successful app, you have three factors. You have design, functionality, and marketing. And, you know, most people can get the functionality done pretty well. Design, all right, and then marketing they don't even think about. And I think that the reason my app has been pretty successful uh, was due to the marketing. Whenever I make something, I'm really optimistic. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's not a chance this won't, like, become big. So for me, it wasn't really a surprise. But, you know, for my friends, my family, my teachers, they, before I launched an app, they were all like, oh, what are the chances of an app that you make, a 15-year-old app make, uh, out of 1.3 million apps on the App Store, what are the chances of yours taking off? So they're really surprised.